so everyone it's now the middle of the night take a look at that the beautiful moon is showing but I showed you guys a while back the miniature dam failed over the winter it got undermined and when I was gonna go and fix it look what happened the cinder block just I couldn't even pick it up it just broke apart and the other cinder block was okay I removed that all from the river and I rebuilt the dam in a way that looks way more natural I'm just keeping a little pool of water there for the frogs who like it originally I built this dam when I originally bought my house it was an abandoned building and the wells didn't work so I was actually pumping it out of the river to be able to use it at the house and you may ask why do I need a dam you see this right here this flow goes down to a trickle that's like a half a gallon a minute sometimes in the summer it has never completely dried up but it goes to it's like dripping that right there is one of the uh slice gates from the old dam i threw it back in the water because there's eggs from something i don't know what it is so i put it down there and this right here was the little spillway look how rusted out that was this was up like this where water could pass through it it's just falling apart. This metal is so compromised from years underwater. Well, three years. Here's the other slice gate. This was for the suction line on the pump I was using to pump it back over to the house. If you see there's like silt all over in here, that's because every time it rains, the dirt roads around me, this gets a little murky because there's a dirt road right above me. This stream is all groundwater. That's why it dries up so much in the summer. I walk maybe less than a thousand feet upstream. It's gone. It starts in the neighbor's yard. And then it ends in like maybe 2,000 more feet into a bigger river. So this is what we got now. Much more natural looking. What do you think? It's just a couple big rocks and gravel and sand to make it more watertight. It's barely even a dam. It's only holding up maybe maximum four inches of water or so. But it'll keep a little stagnant area back here where the frogs like to hang out in the summer. I don't know what this pipe is from, but we found this during a unclogging video. We were unclogging a storm drain. We went out to see where it was going into the woods and... This super duper, really heavy duty galvanized pipe was in the woods. It was there, you could tell, for years, so we took it. This thing, it's so heavy, you can't even pick it up. And see, we just put some nice rocks here and sealed it with gravel and uh, sand. It's really nice. And right here on the end, this. Um, originally I was going to make it deep enough where it would actually spill into this, but I like this better because if we ever want to drain or purge it, you just, there we go. Whoa, it came off. But anyways, when that's off, it stops flowing over here. The pipe can handle all that water, but it needs to be able to. I think in the summertime, I'm gonna have to pack this crack right here with mud. Like I said, this stream slows down to a little trickle. So the dam has to be pretty watertight or this reservoir won't be there. I have found it many times in the past couple years in the summer just completely empty because it found a little way through the dam. I just, like the beavers, take mud that collected, seal it, and it fills right back up. I'm sorry, my finger was in front of the lens. I don't know how long I was doing that. But, after making a video a little while back asking, should I completely remove the dam now that I'm not using it? Should I leave it as a ruin or should I replace? The vast majority of people wanted me to replace it with something else. And also, I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this is, I'm going to cut out a 6 inch piece of wood plug the end of that, drill a little hole, and I'm going to have a little tube going downstream maybe a couple hundred feet, and 
Then we can set up the hydroelectric generator that we tried to use in the uh, last culvert camp. Maybe it'll work all right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And have a great night. Look at this. We have a full moon over there tonight. It's so bright. I think I'm going to go for a walk. Out here in the middle of nowhere. I love when we got a full moon. There's no light pollution out here in the country. And when you got a full moon, you can go for a walk on all the dirt roads around here. I got a couple logging roads that I can walk up. It's really fun. Peaceful in the middle of the night. I do live near a highway, but it's now so late. What time is it? 1037 yeah barely any cars nice and quiet